A federal judge has started the process to approve or deny the Lawrence County School Board's decision to close R.A. Hubbard. Now, because of federal desegregation laws, the parents, students, and community leaders were allowed to file a lawsuit in an attempt to block that decision. News 19's Archie Snowden was in Lawrence County today where students at R.A. Hubbard arrived in a show of force to save that community stable. Archie. Well, Christine, an hour-long bus ride from North Cortland to East Lawrence is just one of the many issues raised by the predominantly black student body at school. That student body filled the courtroom today. But it's been an emotional four months for the student body since Lawrence County Schools Board's decision to close R.A. Hubbard. In a landslide vote, the, the board voted to shut the doors of the school over cost concerns. Parents, student body, behind the urging of the NAACP filed a lawsuit to block that closure. The students used the morning class excuse pass to attend the hearing saying the school's closure of the school is wrong and racially motivated and it's more than just about money. It's a big struggle for all of us because that's a, it's a, a whole community that, that will have to restart and that's just a big impact on all of our lives. The attorneys for the NAACP say the district's decision to close the school against goes against Alabama's desegregation laws. We'll hear from the lawyers about the judge's decision. We'll also hear the feels and the concerns from community leaders about the possible closure of that school. For now, we're live in, uh, in Huntsville, Archie Snowden, News 19.